What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're taking a look at the brand new version of the Semu emulator for Android. Version 0.2 has officially arrived after months of waiting since the 0.1 release. This update brings major improvements in performance, compatibility, bug fixes, and even better gameplay on low-end devices too. I'll walk you through the full setup, test some Wii U games, and show you the best settings to get everything running smooth. So, if you're into emulation and gaming on Android, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more. So, let's jump right into it. So here, I've already installed the emulator and set everything up. I also made a video a while ago on a Mali GPU phone. The setup process is almost the same as usual. This time, you can directly access the CMU folder. I've already imported the keys file, which is very important for the games to work. Anyway, now let's go to the settings. In general settings, as usual, you need to set the game path to scan for the games you downloaded. Now go to input settings and set up the controller. I've already set it to Wii U gamepad, and these are the assigned buttons. In input overlay settings, enable it. You can also turn on vibrate mode if you want. The overlay controller is set to controller one. Now here's the main part, graphic settings. You can import and add a custom GPU driver to improve performance, especially for Snapdragon users. I'm using the Turnip 25 driver. If you're using a Mali GPU, just leave it as the system driver. The phone I'm using here has the Snapdragon 8's Gen 3 with the Adreno 735 GPU. For other settings, leave everything as default. Enable full screen scaling to stretch. In audio settings, just keep it on default. In overlay settings, you can enable FPS meter, CPU usage stats, or whatever else you want. And that's it. These are the recommended settings. All right, now it's time to test. All the games are added and updated. Let's start with NFS Most Wanted. As you can see, it's successfully booted. There are still some graphical issues, like the trees, but it's much better than the previous version. The textures are loading now, which is a huge improvement. Next, let's try Watch Dogs. It's a bit laggy. The FPS meter shows 40, but we're actually getting around 2 FPS. Some games clearly still need more optimization on this emulator. Now let's load Spider-Man 2. It's compiling shaders. Simu Android is definitely a big step forward for Wii U emulation, but do note, it works well only on flagship Android devices. If you're on a low-end phone, don't expect much, maybe around 5 to 10 FPS. Long ago, I actually tested this on an Exynos Mali device. I've linked that video below if you want to check it out. But yeah, Spider-Man 2 does work and is fully playable. We're getting around 25 to 30 FPS. Everything's working fine without any major issues. The guy who shot Uncle Ben. Let me check it out. That's going to be it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.